Now obviously this isn't a magic trick and you'll probably do lots of similar demonstrations perhaps when you're first introducing acids and alkalis or looking at colour changes as evidence as chemical reactions happening or perhaps even you might do this with older students when talking about transition metal chemistry. So the first thing that I did was ask a student to fill up about 500 millilitres of water straight from the tap so that they could see that there was nothing funny going on in the first beaker. Okay, that was then poured into what I'll call beaker one. Now beaker one contained a few drops of sodium hydroxide and of course that didn't result in any color change. But when that was poured into the next beaker containing some phenolphthalein, we got that beautiful pink color. In beaker number three, the color disappears again as it's added to some sulfuric acid. And the sulfuric acid here is in a fairly large excess to try and assist with the speed of the color change. And then as we pour that into the next beaker, there's just a spatula tip, just a tiny amount of uh, potassium permanganate, which is giving that pink color once more. When you pour from the potassium permanganate into the next beaker, it's going colorless. And the reason for that is that the manganate 7 is being reduced to manganese 2 by some iron 2 solution, which is acidified, of course. And the, your beaker, of course, at the moment is acidified anyway. So once you've got that colourless mixture of acidified manganese 2 and uh, iron 3, the iron 3 when poured into the next beaker is being ligated by thiocyanate ions which is giving us that nice orange colour. Of course when it's more concentrated you get that sort of famous blood type effect. And then as you pour that orange solution into the final beaker we get the formation of Prussian blue as we have hidden a few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 into the bottom. So a nice quick demonstration uh, with a little bit of magic thrown in there and of course uh, something that you could use to get your students talking about a number of different subjects. Give it a try and thanks to Catherine Smith for sharing it with me in the first place.